ever thought about what would happen to you and your body and your mind if you were to give up your fine wine for 365 days? Well, I'm here to tell you exactly what happened. <laughs> So it's been one entire year and I haven't drank anything. It's pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Due to the fact that in Norway, our drinking tradition is uh, different than other places in the world. Normally, every weekend, we go out and drink. This is water, by the way. The 11th of December, I said to myself like, Mwah! You don't drink, do you? Kick your ass if you did. This is not a promise or anything. This is not a promise, okay? This is more of like a personal goal for 2018. All of a sudden, I had this wonderful idea uh, of going sober for a year. This was the 11th of December. I thought to myself, why am I drinking? Especially here in Norway, it's trend, like, I wouldn't say trendy, okay? That, that's alcoholism. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Alcohol is more accepted in Norway. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, guys. Alcohol is horrible. My point is, I set a New Year's resolution for myself that I'm not gonna drink for 365 days. Boom, that's it, there you guys have it. What if I just go a full year without drinking? So, the first weekend came around, was used to my glass of wine every Saturday. So when the first Saturday came around, my body and mind subconsciously waited for the glass of wine. Almost like when you're a kid and you eat candy on Saturdays, you know what I mean? I remember the first week was a little bit weird. It was like, wait, hmm, okay. The next week it was like, all right, I'm doing this. And then by week three, I had pretty much forgotten everything about drinking. By now, I don't even remember how it's like. Seriously, like it's erased from my mind how that's like. So as soon as I sat down and made this New Year's resolution for myself, it was already done. If I want to do something, I go all out or I don't do it at all. And now it's been over a year and I am here to tell you what you can expect if you're gonna go Excuse me? Haven't been drinking, I swear to God. <laughs> so yeah, let's dive into it. Here comes the juicy one. Did I think I was going to be able to make it? Obviously, everyone can do this. We're talking about Ikihil. Yes, I knew I had already made it as soon as I made the decision to do it. And then on top of it all, I'm 21. This is like the year to drink. It's like the prime in people's life of drinking right now. I can drink in America and do it. I swear to God. I can say with my hand on my heart, not a single droplet of Ikihil has touched my lips in 2018 nothing not a single drop of lip. you know i still want to finish off 2018 strong so i could do it now it's been a year but i want to wait till 0000 2019 first of january boom you guys better follow me on instagram right now and be prepared for the story i'm gonna post on 0000 2019 it's gonna be good it's gonna be me looking at the watch seeing fireworks go off going <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm kidding. But obviously, it's a discipline thing. With whatever thing you're used to doing and just cutting it out, it's gonna be some sort of like, what? What just happened? What I did, I did something genius to replace this. And that was to, look at this magic trick. Three, two, one. Replace it with Coca-Cola. If you guys don't know this, I've had the most insane collaboration of a lifetime this year with Coca-Cola. Boy, am I lucky. Some sad news though, it's the final episode. It's a bittersweet episode to say the least. I know a lot of you guys have been following every single episode on Coke TV. I don't even know where to begin. It's a little bit emotional that this is like over now, the season. Hopefully, I pray to the Coca-Cola lords up there that it's gonna be a season three. I jumped out of a plane because of Coke TV. Can you see the smile? It's genuine happiness. I got a really heartwarming gift at Coke TV and I just want to say to you guys, please go check out the episode. We've made so much insanely good content and it's all for free for you guys. I'm goddamn lucky to be able to have Coke TV in my life and for this past year. Check out the episode. I'll link it down below. Love Coke TV, okay? Wanted to get that off my chest. A little bit emotional because it's over for this year. So obviously I replaced Saturdays with drinking coca-cola and eating candy and eating fast food and all this kind of stuff So that was nice. That was kind of like my replacement But the thing is I haven't been out once I've been to like a party to support a friend that was having like an appearance at the party That was about it. That was like that, that's it. Didn't drink. No nothing. All right people So let's get into the juicy stuff. How do I feel? 
after 365 days of no drinking. I feel amazing, but hold on a sec, okay? Let me explain why. A luxury you're going to experience is waking up on Sundays, fine. Waking up any day, fine. It's something I forget, and then after a while, if I talk with friends and stuff, that's really like, I'm over. I almost get a little bit sick. I'm like, I'm so happy. I'm not feeling like that. Cutting that out of my life creates a chain of Effect. One of the reasons why I want to do it is because I wanted 2018 to be as productive as possible, right? So I went ahead and I said, if I can have just a Sunday with a little bit more energy and not wasting money and time on Saturdays, I'm going to do it. Like, it doesn't matter. If it just helps me 5%, it's more than worth it. This is what I want to do. Hang out with you guys, create good content, and also to flex the discipline muscle a little bit. I feel amazing, but I'm so used to feeling good now all the time in my body that I almost forget how good I feel. As I said, it's a chain effect. You cut out that one bad habit, you start going to the gym more, you start waking up earlier. Let's be honest, if you follow me on Snap, I'm not the best at waking up and going to bed early. Good fucking morning. I'm trying to be positive, but I woke up now and it's Christmas tomorrow. And my final video of the year comes out, or it should be out now, but I need to wake up and render the video and edit some more things from it, so... Like, literally, you take better life decisions. I'm not saying that if you drink, you're a horrible person. All I'm saying is, it's gonna help you in small ways. At least it did for me, like, I just did a little bit more. I just woke up a little bit earlier, I went to the gym a little bit more often, was able to be a little bit more productive, you know, it helped me in small ways. How has all of this been like? Okay, so this, I have some stories now. When you're on the other side of the fence, if I can say that, at a party, and you're observing everything going on, seeing all these people in that way, you're a little bit, like, taken back by it, like, whoa. Am I crazy right now? Because everyone else seems way too open for me right now. Everyone want to talk about everything with you like they normally never would even do. Goddamn, what's going on? But it's fun. I like it though. I love being at parties, not drinking. Like, it's so fun. I don't even think I would risk going out and drink as well. Everyone has a phone, so people are going to snap everything. Wow. If I do something stupid, I don't want that to go online. I wouldn't do anything stupid intentionally. I'm a human being, okay? Excuse me. I haven't felt anxiety after waking up from a Saturday with the boys. A single time this year. Nothing. It feels good. I remember that when you had a little bit too much and then you wake up the next day and you're like, my life. Fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. For some people that's used to drinking on the weekends, you know, it might sound a little bit hard. They're like, no, you know, I don't want to do that, you know, whatever. But it's simple as shit. You don't even realize how easy it is to just like cut it out of your life. No. <laughs> One thing that's annoying about this is that uh, you have no idea how many of your friends are not really your friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love these people. <laughs> Every one of my friends has tried to get me to drink. Everyone, I'm gonna get you to drink tonight. Just take one. Take one. I'm like, no. Help me out on this mission. Ah! It's, it's funny, but it's still like, people don't take it seriously. People didn't think I was actually serious with this. I'm like, no, it's already done. As soon as I set that goal for myself, I'm like, it's done. I've already done it. I just need to wait, you know, until the year is over. I love you though. But thank you. I'm gonna tell you guys this though. I have a project that I'm working on. So exactly when 2019 starts, I'm gonna drink and update you guys on Snap and Instagram just to take that first sip at the new year to celebrate, you know, hey, it's been a year. That one day I'll do it. I have so many things I'm doing and I'm focused on right now. So I cannot decrease the speed that I'm efficient at right now. If it's one thing that's been really good about this is that it's not even something that's appealing the same way anymore. People go out to town in the weekends and hang out and meet people, you know, it's fun. It's all good. But now it's like, I want to do that without drinking at all. The whole excitement around it, it's like gone. I've been so squeaky clean with my body, my diet. You know, sometimes I lash out and go to McDonald's, but um, with cardio, only drinking water and then in the weekends drinking Coca-Cola and that's it. It almost makes you feel a little bit unstoppable in a sense, especially after all the things I've been through this year. Like when you do something that's not normal, if you separate yourself from the crowd, which the crowd is over here, everyone's going out in the weekends drinking you know having fun that's how norway is now not saying that's how every country you know handles their business but uh, i just took like the other route you know it makes you separate yourself and it's almost like the group pressure of going out you want to go out with them but you know they're all just going to drink and it's going to be just like rah. it almost matures you in a way not in a profound insane way but it's, it just gives you that little I'm doing this on my own, it's no problem. Why did I even do this to begin with? Why was this a thing? Okay, people, I'm gonna break the ice. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what I'm doing right now. This is huge, people, this is insane. This is the only thing my mind is 110% focused on right now until April. My new New Year's resolution for 2019 is to become in the best physical shape possible. 
I haven't worked out for a couple months now, but in 2019, huge things were happening. I'm gonna go in 110% on this goal, getting in the best physical shape possible. I'm gonna document this a lot. Okay, I'm not gonna spoil too much, but um, I'm just letting you guys know right now, in April, be prepared to see an absolute show. This is the biggest project I've ever worked on. Production team is involved. There's over 10 people involved in this project. I wanna tell you guys what it is, but I'm gonna keep you guys a little bit excited still. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop small droplets throughout these months. Follow me on Instagram and check out what I'm posting there from January 1st until 1st of April. I'm gonna give you guys some small hints on what it is, but I'm just telling you guys, this is huge. I'm, I'm so excited and I cannot wait to deliver this into the world. It's it's my gift to the world, okay? So it's gonna be worth the wait. Now I wanna say Coca-Cola, thank you from the bottom of my heart for this amazing collaboration we've had this year. Every single person behind the camera, in front of the camera, everyone. Thank you guys for making this year amazing for me. It's literally been a dream. Like if it's one thing you would want someone to sponsor you with, it's Coca-Cola. But on top of it, it's entertainment, high quality production entertainment. It's insanely beautiful how this whole machine of people is working together to make entertainment for free. Everyone behind the camera is amazing. I jumped out of an airplane thanks to Coca-Cola this year. I fought a 15 year old kid, actually gotten to know him pretty well now, delivered pizza on people's doors, had Q and A's, made an action hero movie. The list goes on of amazing things we've done. And I, I just, Coca-Cola from the bottom of my heart, I wear this with so much pride. It sounds corny to people who don't know this and haven't been behind the scenes and met everyone, but like I'm beyond lucky to have been able to work with these people. Now, I think you guys should make me a host for next year. Yes, I think you should. Something to consider. Every single episode down below. Freaking love Coca-Cola. Check it out if you want to. And then I just want to say at the end of this video, Merry Christmas. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. At the end of the day, it's me and you that's left, you know? Everything else is amazing, but like, it's me and you that's built this whole thing together. The family, the YouTube family, holy shit. This year has been like the most challenging year for, for me for sure, but like also just the, the trust and, and the facility and the strength of this YouTube family. We made it through this year and it really showed character from you guys. Who was really there for me and family bond is getting stronger and stronger. And I feel like a ride or die friend, brother, daddy, <laughs> just kidding. Not the last one. I feel like a ride or die friend with you. When I've been like lonely or felt the outside and felt different than other people and like I wasn't welcomed, you guys always, always welcomed me and accepted me for who I am. I can be my goofy weird self and it's fine with you guys. And I, it's been definitely the most challenging year, 2018, for me personally, but also it really showed how strong this family really is. I freaking love you. Before, <laughs> wait, y'all. Relax. Don't get in your feels right now. Holy shit. What's enough last video? Shit. All I'm trying to say is I love you and 2019 is gonna be insane. Words cannot describe you. Like you. I am so thankful for you that you exist. Your beautiful soul, your beautiful face, your beautiful smile, everything about you. I'm just so happy that you exist. Thank you for existing. Thank you for making my life amazing. And yeah, that's it. Coke TV videos, Instagram and Snapchat down below. Follow me and uh, and I'll see you, baby. I'll see you, buddy. I'll see you, sister. And yeah, I'll see you around. Bye!